tonight and taking on Mr. Samuel Peter. Do believe that his main selling point as far as why the matchmaker brought him in, honestly, come on, let's not BS, is his susceptibility. He's been stopped five times in his six losses. One draw, he's 26 years old. George Arias, who is a Lou DiBella fighter, has stopped him. Laurent Mitchell, who was 13-0 and in the time. Andre Fedosov, who is uh, known to the more hardcore boxing fans, has also stopped him. So let's see what Sam Peter has left here. Came from Nigeria, lives in Las Vegas. Kofi Juntua is in his corner. Uh, some of you sharper-eyed boxing folk will remember that name from back in the day. Had about 40 pro fights and fought at a high level 154 and 160. Sam Peter coming down from over 300 pounds last year said that he has struggled at times with being mentally dialed in to the sport. Told us that, yeah, I am uh, ready to rock. I'm ready to do this again. Now, listen, you see that he's not, uh, you know, he's not in George Foreman level condition in George's comeback. George was big, but, you know, he was still holding that weight there pretty well, even when he was up to sort of 280. Sam is... Uh, shorter than Big George yeah. and we're not equating him with George Foreman you know he has punching power but not nearly the same resume Let, let's be quite honest here looking to land that right hand and Heredia says yeah okay I felt that I felt that the uh, the air moved when you missed there and this is a uh, one minute 20 second remaining and a little bit of a feel out but you see the attempt at the hard right hand and on the ropes is Heredia he slides out into center ring Looking to land to the body with a right hand after the jab sets it up here at Boardwalk Hall. One minute remaining, set for eight rounds or less, Mr. Porter. I mean, that's the perfect thing to do to go to the body when you got when you see a guy like this. You know, they always say if a guy's a little soft around the edges, you want to go to the body and try to get him out of there as fast as possible. Uh, both men appear to be soft around the edges, you know, but right now, a radius jab. A ready, excuse me, jab is giving um, Peter a little bit of problem as Peter tries to make his way on the inside. You know, Peter at a younger age would probably have gotten Heredia out of here by now, honestly speaking. But he's 38 years old, he's making a comeback, so we'll see how long this fight is going to last. Friend, the fighter Junior Wright is watching. Hello, Junior. He's been on many a Salida card. Vicky Kavanaugh is watching. Mark Staley staying with us. Patrick Ward, the UK. This ain't going the distance, says Ward. I'm tending to agree with you. Dark skin fighter is Samuel Peter. Lighter skin fighter in the blue trunks is Heredia in center ring. A measured pace here from the two big boys. Center ring. Back to the ropes now is Peter, and he is tugging at his waistline. It looks like the belt and his shorts are a little bit tight and a little bit snug there. They might want to get out of here sooner rather than later. Fight Night Live is powered by Everlast, who reminds you to be first. And presented by Eat Clean Bro. If you're a pro in training or you just want to eat like a world champion, check out Eat Clean Bro and use the promo code Fight Night. Elite Heat Water, the best fighters, trainers, and announcers just drink the water. And Mr. Custom Made, for a perfect knockout look, check out MrCustomMade.com. Now into the Heredia corner. His guys have got to be telling him, listen, Sam Peter is 38 years old. He's been off for a long spell. He's got some rust that he's got to shed. Help him shed the rust by going out hard, strong, and fast. Here in round number two, stamina is not Heredia's main selling point. Neither will it be Sam Peter's, honestly, but he's been there, done that. He's been on uh, the highest levels and stages, really. Fought the Klitschko's three times. He's been in with Jamil McCline, uh, any number of other A and B-plus grade heavyweights. So he's been there, done that, trying to make another run at it. Stranger things have happened, as we've said, Mr. Porter, because, you know, there are some names in this heavyweight division, but the top 20, uh, as, as usual, it's not, it's not full of names. And he can skip to the head of the line if he continues to pare down a little bit, get the timing back, get some of the weight off, and... He wants to start by showing people here on this stream on Facebook Fight Night Live that he still got the pop because if you still got the pop and if you can still put people out, people are going to tune in to watch you. Absolutely. You want to you keep your name out there in hopes that you can get another 
opportunity to become a world champion. I mean, that's the goal for any of these guys to become a world champion. Any fighter steps in the ring, their goal is to become a world champion. Outside of, you know, getting a, a pretty good payday to take care of their family, the goal is to become world champion. That's it, and we'll be honest, X man. We we never know. I don't know the guy's finances, but I, I do know that uh, you know at the uh, levels that Peter was at, the ratio of uh, fighting to dollars uh, was really pretty sweet. And it's not an easy way to make a living, but it can be very uh, remunerative when you get to those higher levels. Uh, fair to say, I think it gets harder as you get older. Do you want to be doing that road work? Do you want to be getting up at 5, 6 a.m.? Or do you say, well, no, come on, I, I have this experience that can make up for it. I don't need to have the same stamina because I have that experience. Are you BSing yourself if you're telling yourself that? It's a harder pull when you're older. One minute remaining now in round two of eight. A lot of the people who are watching on Facebook Fight Night Live says, this, ain't, this is not going the distance. Robert... Uh, Robert Sims is watching. He says, I see why I didn't get this fight with P Sam Peter, because he slowed down. Hopefully the pace of the fight will pick up. You know, these are like, you know, these guys are big heavyweights, so you never know. One punch can change the fight in a blink of an eye. Peter 259. You remember, he's carving down from the 330s. He said 330, so. No. That's a lot of weight to no, take was off. was it maybe 340, 350? It could have been. And a right hand there. Knocked Heredia the, says, that hit me behind the head. Yeah, but he also got hit with a left hook and it knocked out the mouthpiece of Heredia. And there goes the breaking the, break the fight, breaking the round right now, breaking the action, I should say. So looking forward, we have two more fights on this Facebook Fight Night Live feed. Jarico O'Quinn, he's Detroit, Michigan. He's 11 and 0. Uh, I've watched video and I've seen the kid live. I like what I see like how he puts his, puts his punches together. I like his aggressiveness. I like the fluidity that I see. I think he is a prospect. You guys can judge for yourselves. And then Gradinar Carabajal, main event. That's featherweights. IBF world title is up for grads. Going back to the corner is Sam Peter and Heredia. I, I want to see more action. You know, I, I know it's hard for, for both men right now because these are two big guys putting it all out there. Both of them trying to set up the jab to get the right hand behind the landed to land it behind. That's a nice solid left hook right there by Peter. That right hand was over the top and maybe in the back of the head. However, already it turned his head, so therefore that's why he got hit the way he got hit. You know. All bets are off in love, war and boxing when you turn your head. Don't do it. Protect yourself at all times. At all times. From watching video, I've seen that Heredia does often tend to tire out after two rounds. Going to keep an eye on it and see if that uh, situation plays out again. If Samuel Peters can experience, can speak more loudly in this round three. And as you can see, his last fight here at the legendary Boardwalk Hall here, right here. Was against, was against Vladimir Klitschko, a unanimous decision loss, where he almost pulled off the victory to defeat the then unified ch heavyweight champion. Starting round three of eight, will this go the distance? Tell us right now on the Facebook Fight Night Live comment stream, would you? And there goes a and solid right here by Peter. reacts to that knockdown from Sam Peter. I told y'all. One punch could change the fight at a blink of an eye. That right hand shook the building just now. Arady is up. Referee is assessing his worthiness to continue. He does and indeed continue. And Sam Peter, he knows what to do here, actually. Yes, he does. He's a professional, former world champion, and he knows how to finish. They call him the Nigeria Nightmare for a reason. Arady is looking to punch back. I've seen him in these situations before. He doesn't look to clinch or grapple necessarily. He's going to punch back nice and right leave uppercut. himself open. Bang. Peter is getting the work done. Wild right hand and falling on his butt is already. It is not a knockdown. He no. just fell. Fatigue is setting in. Sam Peter has scored a knockdown. Now pressing the issue in round three of eight. Is this going to be the final stand in the final round for Mario Heredia, who's backing up? He's fatigued. I want to send a special shout out to former six-time world champion, the last undisputed welterweight champion in the world, Zab Judah, who's in the building right now, here for this fantastic fight card that we have on Facebook Fight Night Live. Timeout asked for from the referee. 
Replacement of a mouthpiece. Aradia being led over to his corner. Sam Peter looks like he is okay as far as how much gas he has. We're going to see a quick replay action while we got the mouthpiece being cleaned off. Right there you go. Solid over the top. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And credit to Heredia for coming back and, and, and fighting on. But here goes Peter. Still coming forward and pressing the action. Still trying to land that one, that one shot again to, in hopes of scoring a, an amazing knockout here tonight at the Boardwalk Hall. Ringside, Michael Woods joined by Xavier Porter of Shoot the Five. Heredia is trying to survive by snapping the jab, buying himself a little time, clinching up in center ring. Less than a minute remaining. Three rounds of these two XXL heavyweights. Crowd filing in to the theater here in Boardwalk Hall. They recognize many of them. This blast from the past, from the mid-2000s. Heredia just landed a nice left hook there on the inside. Would not have suspected that Another he would right be finishing Peter. this round. Still some time to go. But Heredia looks like he has his legs about him, his wits about him, and he's trying to press the issue on the Nigerian. Pumping the jab is Heredia now moving, buying some more time. Slappy with left hook by Peter there on the inside, pressing the action still. Looking for that another one big shot. Heredia swings wild with a, a, a wild, swings wild with a left hook, I should say. Very upset, very frustrated that he got caught with that right hand. Undisputed, Shields versus Hammer for the Unified Middleweight Championship of the World is brought to you by Salida Promotions and Showtime and is presented by Boardwalk Hall, the Ocean Resort Casino, Iron Road Employee Administration, Core Power High Protein Milkshakes, a pre- and post-workout essential, Anita Active. For maximum support, visit anita.com, and Burger M, chef-inspired burgers. The most telling action from the last round. Big right hand from Sam Peter sent Heredia on his butt, X-Man. Yes, he did. It was solid. When he hit him with that right hand, the building shook. The fans screamed. I really didn't know that Heredia was going to get up, but he definitely got up and he fought on. Good, good. He took a solid right hand by Sam Peter there. Yeah, Sam Peter, I think, is telling you that uh, we got some rust to work off, and you don't even know if it's rust. You don't know how much of it is age. Let's be totally honest and transparent with people. Uh, the old Sam Peter, the younger Sam Peter, would have put Heredia out, you even said earlier. So it's a different type of work in progress when you're 38 years old, Xavier. And, and what I like also about this fight for both men, that is, you know, Heredia is, he might have got hit with a solid right hand, but he's, he's still there. He's still fighting on. And Peter, he's taking his time, being relaxed. He's not just sitting back on just one punch. He's trying to get the punch in with a combination, maybe a left jab, right hand, maybe a left hook, and he's not overexerting enough energy where he could, you know, get you know, fade and be fatigued. So I, I like that about Yeah, an, an older fighter oftentimes, and you see, got ate a right hand there, yes. uh, did Sam Peter. An older fighter will know how to marshal out their resources and, and not gas themselves out necessarily. So even if you're not in that prime tip-top condition, they know how to pace themselves, and that's part of, of growing older and smarter as a fighter. So if you were thinking, well, Sam Peter's on, you know, 260 pounds, he's going to gas out, and Heredia has something to work with, that, that's a possibility. But Sam is smart. He's a veteran. He knows how to do this, even if he uh, hasn't been doing as much road work as, as, as he would have had back in the day. Minute 25 remaining here. This is the midway point. This is round four of eight. And as you can see, uh, both men are lagging slightly because, hey, that's a lot of poundage to be hauling around there. 260s, 270s into the 280s. Heredia, Heredia is trying to land his jab and left hook, whereas Peter is trying to land his jab and right hand. He's, he, the, if Heredia continues to apply pressure, such as this, he might be able to pull off an upset. Now under a minute remaining, and the right hand, Xavier just noted, 
that Heredia is searching for these openings. The right hand did land pretty hard and clean, I think, on St. Peter. As well as the right uppercut. Having better luck in this round than you would have suspected. Heredia, who we didn't think necessarily would even make it out of the last round. Round and number three. And he's coming back with some good body work as well. Good body shots. Sam Peter's getting back up in this round. That's the type of fight you want to see. You want, you want to see a guy get knocked down and get back up and, 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 and just come back forward and, and, and give us all. Knockdown is not a knockdown, says the referee. And want to thanks to the 40,000 plus people who have already been tuning in to Facebook Fight Night Live. Well over 5 million accumulated views. In our second year in existence now, heading to the end of round number four, Boardwalk Hall. Late shot from Peter. Heredia says, all right, man, I got you. I got you. He's like, hey, what do you do that for, man? Why you hit me like that, man? <laughs> tough, tough fight so far. Pretty good action, as you can see. Both men throwing some strong shots. You know, Heredia there tries to slip it a right uppercut on the inside. Peter definitely makes sure he stays close to him, lands overhand right, but then catches a left hook on the inside as well. Pushes off Heredia. And here goes Heredia coming forward again with some more shots, combination shots. Heredia is definitely trying to land combination shots on the inside. That might be the best option for him, because I think maybe the distance, Peter still has enough speed to land with the distance in place. You see also the veteran smarts, seeing what's coming at him and dipping and moving and blocking as he sees fit. Samuel Peter is the crafty old vet. He's fought, you know, he's fought a lot of good fighters, a lot of world championship fighters. That, that pedigree, that talent, that skill, he's definitely, he still has some of that in him. Now, let's be honest, is it easy to see him in with the top three guys uh, in the heavyweight division or even top ten guy? Not so much right now. You right. want to be seeing more comeback fights for Sam Peter to see if he can round back into uh, a form more closer to where he was in 2005. I agree. I don't want to see Sam Peter going against some of these, some of these big, strong heavyweights right now who have been continuously been active in the ring. And I'm talking about the Derek Chisora's, the Dillian Whites, the Anthony Joshua's, the Big Baby Millers, the Deontay Wilders, the Tyson Furies, the Dominic Brazils. These guys have been so active that for Sam Peter to get back to this level, he needs a good couple of six, maybe four to six fights before he gets to that level of fighting one of these championship caliber champions in the ring. So this is a five rounder. It's set for eight or less. We got Jericho O'Quinn coming up next. Xavier got a lot of uh, people tuning in from Michigan who are going to be digging that fight. Yes. Vicente Alfaro Martinez, nine and four, three KOs. This is 115 pounds or less. O'Quinn will be fighting 115 or 118 if need be. He wants to be within a, a year or so getting one of those title shots. So he, he's a hungry kid. Six time national champ. You know, 11 and 0, one draw, eight KOs. He's in his national. He has an um, amateur record of 130, 130 wins, 18 losses. This kid is pretty good, and he's looking to, you know, hopefully get a shot as soon as he can. As you can see, Heredia is weighing and, and laying on Peter. That might be the best strategy. Kind of drown, kind of drown him. Take him to the deep water. Nice right hand by Heredia over the top. You may want to weigh on the bigger man. Hopefully he'll get fatigued and get tired. You never know. We have a viewer checking in. Fernando Quintero from Venezuela. Mark Abrams is watching Junior Wright. Hey, Abrams. Randy Gutierrez, how you doing? Still in it is Heredia. You see him slip the attempt at the left hook from Sam Peter. Sees a lot of what's coming, but if he doesn't see one, Peter still got that pop, as you saw a couple of rounds ago, and Heredia hit the deck. And Heredia's fighting in a confident fashion here, X-Man. Like I said, once you get hit with a solid shot like that, he probably feels like he tasted the best from his opponent and that his opponent can't hurt him going forward. So it's like, hey, man, let me just give it, give it my all. He hit me with his best shot. It was a shot that, that I, I took, I shouldn't have taken, but I recovered from it, and now I'm ready to, to take this fight to him. Moving towards the end of the round here. Another Crowd likes round. that oh, to end up the round. Sam Peter almost hit the referee there. Almost knocked out the referee. <laughs> the
Fight Night Live is powered by Everlast, who reminds you to be first. And presented by Eat Clean Bro. If you're a pro in training or you just want to eat like a world champion, check out Eat Clean Bro and use the promo code Fight Night. Elite Heat Water, the best fighters, trainers, and announcers just drink the water. And Mr. Custom Made, for perfect knockout look, check out MrCustomMade.com. Replay action from the previous round, Mr. Porter. What a right hand by Peter closing out the right, closing out the round right there. But then as he continued to throw punches, he almost took out the referee also. Thank the Lord he missed the referee. He continued on. Good, good punches towards the end of the round for um, Peter there. Straight up expectations are going to be that Sam Peter wants to stop a guy who had been stopped out in 2017 by George Arias. And Jonathan Rice, who was 5-2-1 and one at the time also. Stopped out by him in 2017 and 2016. Laron Mitchell did it. He was a prospect in 2016. Fatasov, a, a fringe uh, contender type in 2016. Honestly, there are people going to want to see <laughs> Sam Peter taking this guy out. And if he doesn't, yeah, you're going to be out on social media saying, what are you doing, man? So, a little bit of pressure here for Big Sam. I don't know if he's a social media user. Yeah, I th I think he gives a flying F about what people say about it. But <laughs> expectations are such that, you know, yeah. come on. Heredia's here for a reason, and it's his susceptibility. He's been stopped before. Assumption would be that Sam can do it again. Yeah, I think for Peter, a win, is, a win for him is, is the best option, whether it comes by knockout or what. I think he just wants to have a good showing, get his, get his bearings back, and, and hopes to get another fight to, push, you know, going forward his career and another fight and another fight. I don't think right now he's per se wants, I mean, I, I, I believe he would like the knockout, but I think he wants to have a good challenging fight so that way he can say, you know what, I got that out of my system and now I can get another fight and another fight and another fight in hopes of getting a shot at a world title down the line. Maybe not this year, but maybe next year. You know, clean right hands from Heredia though it cannot encourage the San Peter fans out there, whether it be in Nigeria or Las Vegas, the journeyman, 15-6-1, Heredia is having more moments than you'd expect in this fight. Well, let us know, Patrick. Yes, we have some questions about Mr. Tyson Fury. Nice right hand by Peter on the inside. We would definitely like you to let us know. Heavy shots landing from Sam Peter. He's backing up Heredia. Is Heredia hurt? Comes with a right uppercut. Looks like he might be a little bit buzzed because Sam Peter knows when a man is hurt. Under a minute remaining in round six of eight. Sam Peter is assessing him, and we're asking for a timeout. Is the referee once again mouthpiece out from Heredia? Going to clean it off and go again. The referee says, no, "Stop dropping out. You got to clamp down on that damn thing." Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in, Kad Kadaris, watching from Greece. Thanks for tuning in, Lonnie, watching from upstate New York. Appreciate you. Heredia hustles across the ring after the break and comes right at Sam Peter, sending the message that, no, I'm in it here. I'm not going to uh, fold a 10 up here in this round six of eight or less. You thought you had me hurt, but I'm going to hustle right in your face and show you that I'm still here, man. Absolutely. You know, like I said, Heredia is a tough guy, and, and, and Peter might have been able to get those shots off, but, you know, you got to land clean. You got to land solid. And some of these shots that he hit them that are not that, they're not that clean. Although the first knockdown was. <laughs> Peter landing with power, pushing Heredia back. Now moving to 10 seconds remaining. Heredia with the right cross has had more than a little bit of luck on Sam Peter in this round and previous ones. And now a feint and a flinch from Sam Peter. Hey, Mike Ram tuning in from Houston, Texas. Thanks for watching, brother. Gonna be looking at replay action. Thanks, Clint, for watching it for Australia. There you see hard right hand over the top by Heredia. But here comes Peter right back at him. Slips, dips, rolls, straight right hand down the pipe. That's an old school technique. That's the catch and shoot move. A lot of these guys don't know nothing about that. Oh, and they're like behind the, the head yeah, there, Don't too. let the rabbit punch you right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's another old school punch right yes, there. You know, that's a technique that you, do, that you see a lot that the ref may not see. But he also caught him with a nice left hook on the inside. Good work, good work. Coco Applebaum Apple watching from Detroit. How you feeling? She says she's watching in, in, in honor and love of her cousin, Jericho Quinn. Patrick Ward from Manchester. He's talk, telling us about Tyson Fury. Luther Lights Out Smith. What's going on, Luther? 
How you been, brother? I know you've been wanting to come on one of these cars. I know you've been wanting to fight on one of these cars, man. Stephen Parker watching from Northern Ireland. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. This is round seven. This is not the Thriller in Manila, but these guys are both throwing some decent level of thunder. Heredia is sticking around longer than many of you and perhaps us expected. He's standing tough in the pocket, fighting in a confident manner. Two, three times, probably he's been buzzed by Big Sam Peter, who has that 37 and six record. But he's hung tough. He's earning his check here tonight in Atlantic City. Thanks for tuning in, Gabriel. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in from um, Texas, Barry Repose, thanks for tuning in from London, Ontario. Jeff, thanks for tuning in from Philly. We appreciate everybody. Keep tuning in. Let us know where you're watching from. Make sure you hit the share button. I repeat, hit that share button. Jose Boaz, watching from Brazil. Derek T. Brown, watching from Chicago. What's going on, man? How's everybody out there? Make sure you hit the share button. We have a historic night here. We have an historic night. We have a W. We have the, the, the WBC WBA, IBF, WBO, Ring Magazine, Middleweight, you know, Undisputed World Championship fight taking place on Showtime after our main event. I repeat, after our main event, which features Radhanar against Karabahal for the IBF female featherweight title. So make sure y'all continue to watch, continue to tune in, and continue to let us know where you're watching from on Facebook, Fight Night Live. Minute 20 remaining, this is round seven. We got a little bit of a back and forth going here. Both men are standing pretty tall. Not entirely throwing defense out the window. It's bombs away from the jumbo hitters in center ring, one minute remaining. And like Xavier said the round before, yeah, get some work in, get some rounds in, not a bad idea for Sam Peter. You're right, X-Man. Absolutely. And another thing, if you want us to come to your town, let us know. If you want Facebook Fight Night Live in your city, let us know. We are here. Sponsors, promoters, managers, give us a call. Contact Michael Woods. Contact Mark Fredo. Fredo, I should say. Marvelous Mark Fredo. Marvelous Mark Fredo. <laughs> let us know. If you do a Google search for Marvelous, uh, Hagler comes up one, Fredo comes number two. <laughs> Big Paulie watching out of Utica, New York. How's, you, how's it going, Paulie? 20 seconds remaining, Appreciate round you, Paulie. seven. Paulie's always watching. That's my guy, Paulie. He's always tuning Pasta Fajou? As, yeah, Pasta Fajou. Yes, I love saying that name. <laughs> yeah. As well as Jeff from uh, Jeff uh, um, Rutiza. He's always watching as well. Moving down to the end of round seven, heavyweight attraction, Boardwalk Hall in AC. Jason, the, the fight between Shields and Hammer is coming up soon. Thanks, T Street. Keep sharing, brother. X Man, the replay action from the previous round. Another hard overhand shot by Peter, trying to get it on the inside. Definitely trying to land that on the chin. You know, we go straight right hand down the pipe. Good combination there by Heredia. Standing in front of the hard punching Peter, the former world champion. He's taking it on. So, all we can expect now, going into the eighth and final round, we'll see what takes place next. Ladies and gentlemen here in Atlantic City, time to make some noise for these two champions as we head into round number eight, the eighth and final round. Final round, Mark Frado tells us, X-Man, do you think Sam Peter can get the stoppage or no? He gonna get these, uh, get these rounds on, get that rust off. I think he's gonna get these rounds off and get this rust off. You know, it's gonna be pretty hard to get a stoppage of a guy who just does not want to be stopped. <laughs> you know, this guy already has been in this face all day. He's been taking some of the best shots that Peter's been able to land. I'd be I'd be surprised if Peter is able to land a shot to get Heredia out of there at this point in the eighth and final round, given so many so many punches that he's already thrown. Now he always he does possess the power. Don't get me wrong. But I'd just be surprised if he were able to get him out of there this round. Travis Williams, I share what you say. Truly surprised that this went to the eighth round. You, me, both. Big swing and a miss from Heredia. And Heredia is still working hard. I, uh, I want to give him shout out and props. I thought stamina would be a problem from round three on, and this guy uh, has proved me wrong here. Props to you. 
Heredia still winging it, bringing it, trying to in round eight of eight in heavyweight attraction. Thanks for tuning in, Diego. We have Brenda Cameron Carabajal coming on later on in the main event, fighting for the vacant IBF featherweight world championship. So I'm pretty sure she appreciates you tuning in as well as us. Who's next? I hear you, Edgar. We'll see. Vicky Kavanaugh says, great chins, great effing chins. And uh, can't dispute that these guys are earning their keep. Both of them are, Vicky. Good point. Thanks for pointing that out. I appreciate that. Tough, tough fight on both men. Tough fight. Chris Nicholas thinks Hered is winning the fight. He's, he's not, he's not going to get it on the card, though, Chris. Yeah, I, 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 I don't necessarily uh, share that viewpoint, and he's not, he's not going to win on the card. Yeah, I, I'd have to disagree also. But, right. you, but then again, you never know what the Never know, man. Saying. Never know. Yeah, no. That's right, Nicholas. <laughs> Coming right hand from Peter who huffs and puffs and might be uh, excited to see that final bell for the eighth round. Solid fight, great fight. And as you can see behind the guys, the, the venue, the house is starting to pile in. There's a lot of guys, a lot of people coming in. The fans are coming in. Some um, former world champions are, are visiting. They're coming in as well. It's starting to become a packed house tonight. It's gonna be a, a great night here tonight at the Baltimore Hall, so make sure you guys stay tuned in. And I, as, as I look to my left, I see former WBC, uh, su former WBC super middleweight champion, um, Andre Durrell, brother of current WBC super middleweight champion, Anthony Durrell. <laughs> Sam Peters still trying to wing it, still trying to finish it here at the theater in Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. You see, he's got the movement. Trying to get the angles, right hand still working. Heredia has shown a uh, pretty darn A grade chin because Sam Peter can bang, right? 30 KOs and 37 wins. And it looks like this is going to be another W. Good fight for both men. And definitely a good fight for Sam Peter. So the scorecards will be tabulated. This one uh, surprised me a little bit. Didn't necessarily assume it would go the distance. And Xavier, what do you see in the replay action here? Well, I mean, both guys were landing some good punches in there, you know, trying to set up their big shots once they landed their jab. But, you know, Peter just, you know, controlled the bout from the first round on and uh, just made sure that he he was always maybe just a slight, a slight bit quicker than, than, than Heredia. More, I, and, I, and I say that because of the experience. I think the experience factor definitely got him to victory tonight outside of that beautiful night knockdown. Cards being tabulated now, and I asked our friends in the comments section on Facebook what they think, how they score it. Also, you're welcome to weigh in who you think wins the Claressa Shields versus Christina Hammer fight. We're kicking to our friends at Showtime. We'll be putting on that main event and two heavyweight undercard fights before that Jermaine Franklin is 17 and 0 Otto Valin is 25 and 0 comes from Sweden he takes on Nick Kisner and Jermaine Franklin fights Rydell Booker 10 rounds or less and then it's Shields versus Hammer also set for 10 rounds or less the women fight two minute rounds not three minute rounds for the record for those who don't know Peter is getting his Everlast gloves removed from him letting his hands breathe Fratto is going to be grabbing the scorecards and Announcing the tabulation, he's looking now. Heredia, he gave a good account of himself. He's not going to get the win, but uh, he's going to get some more gigs out of this. He'll certainly look at himself in the mirror in the morning and say, hey, fought with an ex-world champion. You hung in there more than tough. So props to this kid. And X-Men, you and I try to say it at least once every time. Props to all these guys who step in there. We try not to be excessively negative because we love... Uh, the effort that all these guys give. And Mark Fratto is just about ready to tell us who won and by what margin. Ladies and gentlemen, here in Atlantic City, let's get a big round of applause for these two champions. Going the distance, all eight rounds here in the center of the ring. We now go to the judges' scorecards. Judge at ringside, Eugene Grant scored this contest 77-74 for Mario Heredia. Judge at ringside, Alan Rubenstein scored this contest 79-72 in favor of Samuel Peter. 
And judge at ringside, James Kinney, saw this one 76-75. In favor of your winner by split decision from Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, Mario Heredia. Well, well, well. And the booze tell you what most of the people thought. But it doesn't matter because the judges said that Mario Heredia, by a two to one margin, won by split decision. He takes the bows. And we said it, X Men. We've done this long enough to know you never know until you know. <laughs> Folks looking a little bit down the line Clarissa Shields against Christina Hammer. We spoke to Christina Hammer earlier. Let's hear what she had to say.